In today's video, I'm going to create a monthly calendar for your interior pages using PowerPoint. Hey guys, my name is Christina Ramos. I create self-help journals to sell on Amazon KDP. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for future video updates. And let's begin. I am in timeanddate.com. This site will give you the option to select any year. So I have here a calendar for year 2022. And I will be needing 7 rows and 7 columns for my monthly planner design pages. Open PowerPoint and select a blank presentation. Click the Design tab, go to Slide Size, and then set size into 6.125 inches for the page width and 9.25 inches for the page height. This design page is set to Bleed. Click OK, Ensure Fit, and there you go. Go to View and make sure to check these boxes to make it a lot easier to design. Right click here, go to layout and select the blank slide. And now we're going to set margins. You need to leave space for the margin. KDP gave you some advice for the margin. The link is in the description. Try to check it out. Insert shape. I'm going to create a custom guide to define the margin size. For 110 pages, the inside margin is set to 0.375 of an inch. And the outside margin with bleed is set to 0.375 of an inch. The link that tells you how much margin you should need in your interior is in the description. Remember, margins protect your content from running off the page and being chopped during the manufacturing process. The inside margin is sometimes called the gutter of the book. The inside margin size depends on the page count because the higher number of pages, the thicker the book will become which means the inside margin must also increase to allow enough space for the spine. The top, bottom, and outside margins must be a minimum 0.25 of an inch for books without bleed and 0.375 of an inch for books with bleed. Right-click and go to Format Shape. The Fill option make it no fill. In the line fill, make it solid line with red color. Then duplicate slide. Now we're going to insert table. We need 7 rows and 7 columns. To change the size of the table, just click the table, drag and drop on the resizing points of the table. Under Table Tools in the Design tab, choose No Style Table Grid. Insert Weekdays in the first row. I'm using the tab key to advance the cursor to the next tab stop. Then, insert day numbers to their appropriate cells. Now we're going to insert table. It's going to be four rows and one column. This is for the notes area. Go to Table Tools and under the Design tab, select No Style Table Grid. Go to Borders and select Outside Borders. Go 
Go back to borders and select bottom border. Insert text box for the notes. Insert text box for the month. Now we're going to insert picture here. Just crop it and make it black and white. Remember to delete the custom guide, the red rectangular mark. Don't forget to delete the first slide because we don't be needing those anymore. Now that we've done with the first month, do the same process for the other months. Here's an example of my monthly calendar pages that I've just published in KDP using PowerPoint. This ends our video. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!